a customer. One moment, I'll be right there. Ah, oh, hello there. Come in, come in. Sorry, I was just in the back. I wasn't expecting to have someone coming in this late. Of course, that doesn't mean I'm not happy that you came in. So, are you here for food, drink, a place to sleep? All free? Or did you just want to come in and stare at the pretty goblin lady running the inn? Based on the look on your face, I'm thinking it must be the last one. You better be careful. I've been told your face can stuck that way if you keep staring so hard. And that would be a real shame given how handsome that face is. <laughs> Aw, don't get shy. I'm just teasing you a little. I'm fully aware of the fact that we goblins are rare to see. Especially in more... social climates. Really, the only other one of us who I know is the little gobo who runs that pub on the other side of town. Nice girl. A little rough around the edges. But hey, I was young once, and I remember how rowdy I was at that age. She's doing fine. Hmm. Don't you think it's rude to ask someone their age before even their name? I guess all that time traveling, you were never taught proper manners. <laughs> no, I'm not actually offended or anything. It's just, after the first time I teased you, I noticed you're a bit of an easy target. So I decided to have more fun with you. When you are my age, you start to enjoy the simple pleasures in life. Such as teasing the cutie who just wandered into my inn. But yes, since we are discussing age, how about you tell me how old you are first? It's only fair, I think. No, you're still practically a baby. Oh, don't get me wrong. You're most definitely a fine-looking young man, but compared to me... Well, let's just say that I am old enough to be your great-grandmother. <laughs> you little charmer, you. Saying I don't look like I could be over 20. You humans are famously bad at telling non-humans ages. But I suppose I can't blame you. Most creatures have much longer lifespans than your kind, so... The aging process is much more... subtle than you would notice. Still, far be it for me to turn down a compliment. Thank you very much. So then, what brings you into my inn tonight? As much as I'd like to think that you just came in to chat with me, I assume you're here on business? Mm-hmm. You're a traveling merchant. Well, that is a surprise. If you're built, I would have assumed that you were an adventurer or even a mercenary. Although you don't smell like blood and gutter trash to be a mercenary. Hmm. A traveling merchant. That actually sounds fascinating. Getting to roam the country, selling your wares, making big money from tricking global tourists. Not that last part. <laughs> You've got integrity, I see. I like that. <sighs> that lifestyle honestly sounds like fun. Romantic, almost. <sighs> oh. Hang on a moment. Hmm, I could have sworn I kept that thing around here somewhere. Ah, huh? here it is. Well, 
It's your lucky day. I have a little something special here. I've actually been holding onto this wine for a rainy day. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You look like you've had a long day already, and I am the owner of this inn. So, it is my privilege to act as your gracious host. And you'll be doing me a favor by agreeing to drink it with me? Wine as amazing as this shouldn't be drank alone. That's just a waste. Besides, you look like the kind of man who can appreciate the finer things in life. What? It looks like ordinary table wine. Oh no, 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 my dear merchant. This is no ordinary wine. This is aged caveberry wine. And a very good year, I might add. I doubt that you ever tried anything like this before. Caveberries are a goblin specialty, found deep, deep in the earth. They only grow in the very soft light of glowing cave mushrooms. Most surface dwellers have never even heard of them before. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Just be sure to savor it. A vintage like this is incredibly rare. And considering how rare it is to find cave berry wine at all, finding one that's this mature is almost impossible. How old is it? Well, I'll give you a hint. This wine was bottled the same year that I was born. And you can imagine how nicely this has aged just by looking at me. Right? Hey now, no picking at the label. Shoo, shoo! Bad boy. Now then, if you could be so kind as to open it for me. Oh, come on. Help a girl out. I'm so small and helpless. I need a big, strong man like you to open it for me. Please. <laughs> I swear it's far too easy to do that. For a man as well traveled as you, I would have thought that you would be immune to my teasing. But it could seem that you are too innocent for your own good. Mute, better be careful. If you aren't, then some other woman with bad intentions will take advantage of your good nature. And you could get really hurt. Maybe I should just have to snatch you up for myself before some other woman finds out how much fun it is to tease you. You know, for your safety. Ah, <sighs> oh my goodness. Can you smell it? It smells absolutely divine. Okay, thank you, merchant. I can handle it from here. No, you don't have to worry about that. I know I asked you for your help of getting the bottle open, but that was just so I could mess with you a little. I wouldn't be much of an innkeeper if I was actually incapable of opening and pouring drinks for guests. Now, allow me. One for you. And one for me. Alright, let's have a toast. To a new and hopefully long friendship. Cheers! Mm, that's better than I could have ever expected. Worth every penny I paid for it. Go on, try it. 
I have to know what you think. Hm. <laughs> I knew it. At a total loss for words, aren't you? Bet you didn't think that goblins were such masters of making wine. But if you think about it, it shouldn't be that surprising. Life underground can get quite repetitive. So, the chance to make something like this is a great opportunity to liven things up. Now then, drink up. There is plenty more where that came from. So I said... I said that I didn't want to marry that stupid frog farmer. Cause he was short and... and if mom couldn't understand that then I was leaving. What? Why are you making that face? Well, yes, I know that I'm short. Well, I'm a goblin, of course I'm short. Oh. Man, yeah, that's a good point. I guess he was also a goblin. But like, I just didn't like him, you know? I mean, I know it was a long time ago, but an arranged marriage? Not for me. Maybe I just said short, cause I needed some reason to say no. Anyways, that's how I ended up leaving the trip. Nah, i never been back. I mean, I've got everything I could ever want right here anyways. I've got an inn and I've got friends. And I've got a sexy human to look at. Pfft. What? No. I didn't call you sexy. Wait. Did I call you sexy? Oh... Uh -huh. Maybe I've had a little too much wine. <laughs> hmm... But what if I did call you sexy, hmm? Ah... Oh. <laughs> Your face is turning red again. I mean... More red than it was from drinking the wine. You're embarrassed. You're cute when you're embarrassed. I like it. <laughs> huh? What are you getting up for? Could I use the little merchant's room or something? Oh. Wait. Is that clock right? Oh jeez. How long have we been sitting here drinking? It's gotten so late. I bet you'll be wanting to go to sleep, huh? Well, that's fair. How about we just finish up this bottle and we can... Oh... It's already empty. Okay, I guess I'll take you to your room then. Or... Maybe... You would like if I just took you to my room instead? <sighs> okay, I can see that you've not picked up on any of the hints I have been throwing you. You're cute. But you're pretty dense. That's okay, though. Lucky for you, I find that charming also. The wine bottle might be empty, but I think I know of one place that still has some. Where? Right here. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> even better than from the bottle, wouldn't you say? 
I'm sorry, was that too forward? <laughs> your shocked expression is just as cute as your normal one. Or... Is that expression you being frozen in disgust? Your jaw has to come off of the floor eventually. I hope. There it is. <laughs> I guess I have some explaining to do. Well... If I am being completely honest... I... Kinda have a type. A tall, handsome, round-eared type. I'm not exactly sure when or how, but... I guess at some point from when I left my tribe until now, I realized that I like humans. Like... Really, really like humans. And... When you walked in, I really... Really liked your type. I think I played it cool for the most part. But I guess with the addition of some top-tier liquid courage, I lost my self-control. I understand if this is all a little too much to take in for you. I can take you up to your room and pretend all of this never happened. No. I guess I'd be getting off too easy if that were the case. I can blame you for being upset. If the situation was reversed, well... I can say that I'd be upset too. But I can understand why you might be. You're not upset? Really? Then... Does that mean you're okay with this? <laughs> Is that so? Huh... Well, well then, what was that reaction? It just caught you off guard. I guess I can see that. I've already picked up on the fact that you're cute, but incredibly slow on the draw. So, you liked it, hmm? Then how would you react if I were to sit on your lap? Like this? <laughs> Your face is bright red again. I appear, Chief. Too late to get bashful now. Considering I've already shown my hand. Now, it's your turn to make a move. What do you say? Is there still a room available? Hmm. I think I know of one room you could stay in tonight. Thank you for listening. If you are still here, please leave a like and a comment. Pink must like. Chubby monster ladies. And don't forget to hit that notification button to not miss my next video. Thank you for all the nice comments, support, and messages on Patreon, and always listening. As always, I want to thank my patrons for their continuous support, allowing me to work on this channel for all of you. Especially at times when it's not so easy for me. Special thank you goes to... Ailatron, Andrei Augustra, Anthony Orlandi, Bender Gaming, Blue Boy Beats, Brandy Corel, Camo Ren, Catboy Yandrew, Chupacabra Fio. Dedan Daniel Salomon David Shepard Jr. David West Default Official Dominic Fawlty Edvan 
We will find the Donorat. Gatrazak. Glen Tom. Harley John Lobau. Junior. King Fisher. Lord Budano. Lord Megatron. Marty. Muscular Shimura Prototype 13 Poromu Raphael Red Demon Risky Place Sam Dow Spencer Williams Tim Clark Tricky Mew, kill, XX, hello.